Hey Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, welcome back to another Star Wars The Black Series action figure review. We got a new wave of Bad Batch figures uh, and I'm going to do them in numerical order. So we're starting off with number six. It is Captain Rex from his appearance in The Bad Batch Season 1. Um, yeah, haven't seen many reviews of this one as yet. Papa Gord, the Canadian Santa Claus, who was on my live stream just a few weeks ago. He uh, He's the only one that I've seen review this one so far. So. I'm excited to crack it open and have a look. I will do something similar and I'll compare it to the old Captain Rex and just sort of see what subtle differences there are between the two figures despite the fact that it's, uh, you know, he's got the poncho, he's got the uh, the sort of viewfinder on the on the helmet. But yeah, we'll sort of take a peek and uh, see, check out the differences. So let's do exactly that, crack it open and have a look. All right, here is Captain Rex in all his glory. And this is a pretty cool looking figure, I must say. It's gonna be, it's gonna look really nice amongst the rest of the Bad Batch on the shelf, um, even though I'm still waiting on tech. <laughs> um, but that's okay. Um, yeah, I'm digging it, I am. So we're gonna, got side by side, so we're gonna just have a look at some differences. And uh, immediately there's a height difference, but that's because the head seems to be sitting really low. Um, and I will take off this poncho at some stage as we get through the review, but um, I thought we'd just take a look at both of the helmets side by side and just some of the slight... As you can see, the uh, sort of orange bronze weld lines on the original one are a fair bit stronger. Um, I feel like the white plastic they've used on the original is a bit better. This one's almost uh, sort of milky, milky plastic that they occasionally use. Whereas this one's a nice sort of vibrant white. But otherwise it seems to be practically the same. And the kill marks, tally marks aren't as strong on the new one. Um, not as weathered on the new one either. A little bit of weathering down on the, on the front of the face there, but that's not too bad. I've actually got the grill marks on the side, whereas this one doesn't. So yeah, a few little anomalies between the two. But uh, in terms of feel, they both feel the same, sort of sort of thickness and strength of plastic. Um, I just feel like this one's got a better finish than the new one. Um, but, you know, technology has probably changed over the, over the last couple of years. Um, you know, the, the viewfinder here hasn't got the uh, silver paint on the new one either. But that is articulated, it comes down. So that'd be a cool display option to have it like that too. So I do dig that. So we'll put the helmets down. We'll get a look at the head sculpts. Um, for the most part, they look pretty pretty damn good to me. Not much between them. The new one seems to have a little bit more of a glossy finish, whereas this one's got a nice matte sort of finish to it. So yeah, they're looking good. Tiny little paint chip off the uh, the top of his hairline there. That's not, not a big deal. Um, let's try and take this poncho off, and uh, we'll get a look better look at, at uh, Rex's bud day. There we go. Don't want to do that too often. <laughs> so yeah, see, I just want to see the poncho obviously hinders hinders the uh, helmet a bit. And we've got this new sort of new pauldron here that he's wearing. Um, hey, because he took a he took a took a blast there in in that one back at the end of the Clone Wars. So we're starting to see you know Rex starting to lose parts of his armor, take parts of his armor off, and we'll eventually get to the stage where he is in uh, Rebels, where he's really only wearing sort of the top armor and his forearms. So it's looking pretty good. The blue looks nice. The weathering on the figure looks good. But again, it's sort of, if we compare, you know, whites to whites, you know, there's a fair bit of difference there. But, you know, I th go, with the, go with the idea that it's a bit of extra weathering. I'm still using the same torso. It's actually got the the sculpted welding. And the blues are 
different. But I think I like the new blue, to be honest. Obviously there's a bit of a difference here on the shoulder, the way, the light, way that line is. On each shoulder, the lines are a little bit thicker. It still has the, uh, still has the tally marks, which is cool. The karma seems to be exactly the same down there. He's got an extra kill mark on the new figure down on the shin guard there. He's only got seven, there he's got eight. So he's only taken out one droid since. <laughs> no, he's got a bunch more on the inside of his arm there. Whereas this one, he hasn't he hasn't done that yet. So uh, you know he's still still keeping count. It's looking pretty good. A few missed details on the back there, but that's not a problem. The figure's sort of facing forward on the shelf anyway, so I'm not too upset by that. But I dig it. It's, it's a nice looking Rex, man. Like, it looks good. It's nice. I'm not going to complain about it too much. Um, just that sort of the use of that white plastic, but, <clears throat> you know, he's been through a fair bit of, fair bit of crap since... Uh, since the end of the Clone Wars and through the end of the Clone Wars, really, you know, in that big, big crash at the end where him and Ahsoka survived, you know, you know, his his, his arm is weathered, so you can have a little bit of uh, action figure head cannon there <laughs> if you really want to. But I'm, I'm digging it. I love Captain Rex. Big fan of Rex. Um, now, one issue here on the hand is he's only got the one trigger finger. This one doesn't. But I remembered I actually sliced that finger open on the other Rex so he could hold both both triggers, you know, properly. So I'll probably do the same again. But the blasters will fit in the holsters very nicely. Uh, nice snug fit in there, as always. That's where it does a pretty good job of them. But yeah, love to hear your thoughts, guys, as we uh, begin to redress <laughs> Captain Rex here. Do the old put your arms up. That's what my mum used to tell me when she had to put a shirt on me when I was a little kid. So we'll uh, see how this all works. It's always harder putting it back on than it is taking it off. That's nice and quick. There we go. But yeah, we'll take a quick look at the poncho before we wrap it up. And uh, yeah, I think it looks good. It's a nice, nice cart, nicely sewn together. No sort of obvious signs of fraying. No bulky stitching. Like it's all pretty clean. I'm not sure about what this is meant to be at the back. Obviously that's meant to be a bit of a hood. Um, there's a fair bit of fabric up the top here, which I think is what bunches up on top of the uh, shoulders there. And that sort of restricts. I might have to cut a couple of those loose, loose threads off kind of restricts that helmet from sitting down where it's meant to, but it's cool. It's cool. Again, love to hear your thoughts. Please drop them in the comments below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. We'll be back with some more reviews coming up in the coming days. So yeah, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so you don't miss out on the next lot. Thank you all so much for watching. Until the next video, may the force be with you always.